Kawasaki, BMW, Suzuki, Honda, and many other companies have been manufacturing motorcycles that match customers' desires, and one of them is desire for speed. In this video, you're going to watch top 10 fastest motorcycles in the world. But before we get started, I want to indicate that this video contains modified motorbikes. Let me explain this a little bit more and then we'll get to the list. After the 1999 Hayabusa sent shockwaves by exceeding the Honda CBR 1100 XX's record by more than 16 km per hour, some regulators and politicians in Europe called for an import ban against high-speed motorcycles. There were fears that there would be an outbreak of illegal racing as riders try to break the 300 km per hour barrier. Thereupon, a gentleman's agreement was made among the major motorcycle manufacturers to limit the top speed of their machines to 300 km per hour, starting with 2000 models. This is why the motorcycles on this list are whether track only or limited at this speed if they're going to be ridden on the roads. Their speed limiters are taken away and some of their parts are modified to break a speed record or to just provide an advantage in races. Also, they were modified by motorcycle race teams not by unprofessional individuals since they're not tested whether they tempered with the speedometer. Number 10. We got a Honda motorcycle, a Japanese brand Honda's CBR 1000RR. Marketed in some countries as the Fireblade, is a 998cc liquid-cooled inline four-cylinder motorbike. The 2017 model has an enhanced engine which now produces 189 horsepower and it comes with a top speed of 299 kilometers per hour. Besides accelerating from 0 to 100 in 2.8 seconds, it retails at $14,000 nowadays. At the number 9, we have Kawasaki ZX-12R. Another popular Japanese company, Kawasaki, makes it to the top. The 1199cc inline 4-cylinder engine ZX-12R has produces 190 horsepower, making it the most powerful production motorcycle up to 2006, the year when the ZX-14R was released. Cycle World tested the ZX-12R's 0 to 100 acceleration at 2.7 seconds. They found an electronically limited top speed of 301 km per hour, which makes it one of the fastest motorbikes on the market. When it comes to its price, this motorcycle retails for $4,000. Number 8. MV Augusta F4RR 312. The 312 in the name refers to Italian motorcycles claimed top speed of 312 km per hour. Motociclismo magazine verified MV Augusta's claim to an extent, achieving a top speed of 311 km per hour at Italy's Nardo Speed Stadium in the previous decade. So there's no question this model belongs to any list of fastest motorcycles. Sprinting to 100 lasts about 3 seconds on this one. It is identical to the F4 single R 312 except for an additional 7 horsepower, allowing it to produce 190 horsepower in total. Moreover, an average sticker of this motorbike is $22,000 nowadays. The number 7 spot goes to Suzuki Hayabusa GSX 1300R. I'm talking about the last model before gentlemen's agreement. In other words, the last unrestricted Hayabusa. This Japanese manufacturer's popular model, Hayabusa's name comes from a peregrine falcon, known for its ability to dive at speeds approaching 300 km per hour. Since 1999, the Hayabusa has been a regular feature on pretty much any list that concerns speed. Packing a liquid-cooled 1340cc engine capable of 170 horsepower, 
the Hayabusa hit 100 in only 2.8 seconds. Figures bested only by the incredible result of Cycle World's top speed test showing a top speed of 312 km per hour. Consequently, Guinness World Records listed the Hayabusa as the fastest production motorbike in the world in 2000 and in 2001. The Hayabusa has been used in road racing, drag racing and top speed competitions. Many people see Hayabusa as a reasonably priced bike because it comes with a price tag of $15,000. Coming in at the number 6th spot is the motorcycle known as Dugatti Panigale 1199R. Here comes another Italian motorcycle. Original version's liquid-cooled 1199cc engine produces 195 horsepower, but the R, which is the final version of the iconic 1199, ships with a track-only Termignani exhaust system that ups power to 202 horsepower. All that raises the top speed from 300 to 325 kilometers per hour. That right there is what makes it one of the fastest motorcycles in the world. With this upgrade, Panigale 1199R is also able to sprint to 100 in just 2.8 seconds. Furthermore, it is available for $20,000 these days. Moving into number 5, we have Kawasaki Ninja ZX-14R. On paper, the ZX-14R comes equipped with a 1441cc engine that can produce up to 200 horsepower, which allows this motorbike to hit 280 km per hour. However, with a different set of tires and a small gearing adjustment, the Kawasaki ZX-14R was estimated to reach a speed of more than 300 km per hour. And it did so. In 2013, Ralph Nichols set the Australian land speed record on a Ninja ZX-14R with some gearing and tire changes and the speed limiter removed. Nichols rode the Ninja above 335 km per hour. This super machine also hit 100 km per hour from a standstill in just 2.7 seconds. Furthermore, it is priced at $14,000. The number 4 spot on this list is BMW S1000 RR. It is the only German motorbike on this list. Its spec sheet shows us that the needle can point to 305 km per hour. In September 2016, Valerie Thompson decided to push the limits of this machine and rode it at 350 km per hour with about 12 modifications. It's not really surprising when you know that she is often referred to as America's Queen of Speed. Even at these high speeds, the new power curve on this motorbike allows turning to be nice and easy. In addition to its exceptional speed, we see that the 0 to 100 km per hour acceleration of this motorbike is as good as Bugatti Veyron Supersports acceleration, which both achieve in 2.8 seconds. This BMW motorcycle features a 999cc engine producing up to 193 horsepower and has a price around $13,000. We are at the top 3 and the third fastest motorcycle is Lightning LS 218. You are now looking at the only electric motorcycle on this list. It's manufactured by an American motorbike company, Lightning Motorcycle. This company is simply considered to be the Tesla of motorbikes. By rights, the Lightning LS 218 should really be in the first place if you're looking for the fastest motorbike in the world that's a regular production motorbike. Purists don't like the Lightning LS 218 though because it comes with a character trait that many still consider improper because it's electric. The name LS 218 stands for the top speed of the vehicle which is obviously 218 miles per hour. 
Back in 2011, the Lightning team took their bike to stretch its legs on the Bonneville Salt Flats, and it topped out at 350 km per hour. Even the biggest electric haters can't deny the performance of this motorbike. A liquid-cooled engine capable of producing 200 horsepower and a groundbreaking acceleration of 0 to 100 in 2.3 seconds. And let's not forget its retail price starts at $38,000. At the time of its launch, the Lightning was the fastest motorcycle in the world. This is much like Tesla Roadster exceeding to the throne by being the fastest in the world. However, at the moment, LS218 comes after a few motorcycles. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, oh my God! Kawasaki Ninja H2 ranks the second among the fastest motorcycles. Launched in 2015, Kawasaki's Ninja H2 was like something from outer space, with alien looks, a chirping supercharger, and the kind of straight line performance that blew the doors of any superbike it came up against. In 2016, Kent Kunitsugu, the editor for the Sport Rider magazine, competing in a land speed racing event in California at the Mojave Magnum, took a Ninja H2 with a few bolt-on performance parts, adding over 70 horsepower and achieved a top speed of 365 km per hour. The Kawasaki H2 cranks out 300 horsepower from a supercharged 998cc engine that smashes the bike to 100 km per hour from a standstill in only 2.7 seconds. Keep in mind that this motorcycle currently costs around $32,000. Well, everything comes at a price. So before we unveil the number one, let's check out some very honorable mentions. Before I introduce you these motorcycles, I want to explain why these ones couldn't make it to the list. I tried to choose motorcycles that actually look like motorcycles, so I eliminated the ones had so many modifications thrown on them that they were no longer looking like a motorbike. Remember that Dodge Tomahawk thing that always gets put on these lists? Yeah, here it is, the Tomahawk, from the Dodge company. It's an interesting motorbike which is in this video and yet never did a speedrun. Its enormous power will put a road car to shame. Some people don't think its features matter at all since it has four wheels, making it a quad. Similarly, don't expect to see MTT turbine-powered Y2K or MTT Street Fighter machinery either, since they're jet-engined. I didn't put them on the list because it wouldn't be a fair comparison. I mean, look at the horsepower and torque numbers and you will see my point. Another popular motorcycle comes up to minds when people talk about fastest motorcycles is the turbocharged Suzuki Hayabusa. Bill Warner was the one who modified the Hayabusa in 2011 to do the 500 km per hour run, and he did so. In 2013, Warner once again tried to do the 300 miles per hour within a mile and lost control of his bike at 285 miles per hour. Though he was conscious after the accident, he was declared dead about an hour later in the hospital. Finally, the winner of this list is Kawasaki Ninja H2R. This motorbike is track only. It's powered by a supercharged 998cc transverse four-cylinder that can produce approximately 310 horsepower. The Kawasaki Ninja H2R famously reached a stunning mark of 400 km per hour in 2016 while being ridden by Turkish rider Kenan Sofol. Another amazing ability of this motorcycle is that it can sprint to 100 km per hour in under 3 seconds. When it comes to its price, it is not really a cheap one as salespeople charges $55,000 for Ninja H2R these days. And this is how the leaderboard stands today. I hope you liked the video. You might want to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon so that you'll get notifications when I upload a video. If you haven't left the video yet, you might want to take a look at the videos shown on the screen.